Welcome back. Snow certainly holding on over towards the Hoop and Holler area, and I even have some slush in my parking lot in Marquette. Yeah, Ben, still lingering there, but some of this could start melting away in the coming days. And here's a live look at Meriwether, the northern shore of Lake Gogebic. It is beautiful at the Hoop and Holler Tavern. Hello, George, and thank you, Tom's Trail Report, for sharing this every time. I know we've got high amounts of snow there, and we'll be sure to update you. It, is, it was from yesterday where it was still 12 inches of snow, so a foot of snow for some areas out there, but definitely expect a few inches to start, to start melting away here. Mid 30s, high pressure across areas of Ontonagon County, the interior, and all of Upper Michigan. Here's the highs today. We did get 40 degrees in Copper Harbor, still below the average of 44 degrees. That's the historical average from National Service Marquette. The weather forecast office with the high today, 37 degrees. So definitely looking at a little bit of warmth these coming days here. And just zooming out in the picture, current temperatures, we're not going to get those 70s over in Elkhart and 61 in Denver. But this, the uh, jet stream, it's been south of us lately. Well, it starts to tilt a bit north towards upper Michigan to allow for a little bit of that warming aloft and for a bit of a milder uh, side to fall to autumn here in upper Michigan towards the weekend. A little disturbance in a Along that jet stream, it's moving from the northwest and looks to keep some snow chances mainly towards the northern ends of Upper Michigan tonight, the Keweenaw Peninsula. Scattered clouds and then a chance for some snow, even some rain in the mix for the Keweenaw Peninsula, even north of Ontonagon and over into Mass City. Once we get into the morning hours, it'll start to diminish in coverage a bit. We could count on some breaks of the clouds for Upper Michigan elsewhere, even over in the southern reaches, over, over to Menominee County, Dickinson County as well. You can't rule out a chance for mixed rain and snow over the Keweenaw Peninsula again until we get into Thursday night. So still counting on some clouds to break. Remember that the sun sets around, I would say, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so we're going to lose it. It's less than 10 hours of daylight. Looking at light accumulations, two-tenths of an inch of snow over the Keweenaw for your Thursday. Tonight across the shorelines, around 20 degrees for your lows. Westerly winds, they could gust 20 miles per hour, especially up in Eagle Harbor. Scattered clouds over Overall, along the shorelines, but for the interior, could get quite frigid down to the teens, frosty inland west, temperatures um, from the 20s elsewhere in the, the region for the interior. For the shorelines and your temperatures overall, shorelines and interior will be from the upper 30s to the mid 40s, will be coolest towards the western ends of upper Michigan, mostly sunny skies for the interior. You still can't rule out a chance of rain and snow across the Keweenaw. Your TV6 extended forecast, you get a mix of uh, rain and snow into frost. Friday by the end there. We're going to turn the clocks back an hour into Sunday, and that's when some scattered rain can develop into the evening, spread across the region, and transitioning to potentially wet snow for early next week. There could be some icy spots, and we'll keep an eye on that one, Ben. All right, Noel, and thank you for pointing out the uh, time change there. Yeah. I know a lot of people are kind of yeah. confused with some of the laws that might be going on. As Do we have to change the clocks back? I know. Yeah. But thanks for pointing that out. You got right. it. Thank yeah. you very much, Noel. And remember, on the free TV 6 and